Hi guys. It is a gorgeous day. Perhaps even an over the top, spectacularly gorgeous midsummer afternoon here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this glorious Sunday afternoon, July 21st, 2024. And uh, with this latest no shit Sherlock news about uh, the uh, lying to himself uh, <laughs> chief of cook and bottle washer uh, Joe Biden has finally stopped lying to himself that he can uh, beat Donald Trump. I wonder when he can start being honest with himself that he is the one who guaranteed Donald Trump's second term in the White House. But now, uh, since Joe Biden has stopped lying to himself, uh, it's a little bit too, little too late, because God damn, talk about the liar-in-chief on steroids getting ready to take over <coughs> to take over the White House once again. And uh, can you imagine the pack of lies that, that, that we're getting ready to get thrown at us as, as hundreds of millions of clueless fucking morons just continue to, you know, to eat the lies pouring out of, uh, of this fucker's mouth. But, uh, you know, th th this is just the latest, th this shit that just uh, went down with uh, Joe Biden uh, just completely paving the way for the biggest liar one of the single biggest liars on the planet to uh, come back to lie to us for four more years. Uh, it, it, it's just the latest in, in what I've been thinking about these uh, just, just fucking lying sacks of shit uh, that, that, we, uh, that we all uh, deal with. And, uh, of course, this means uh, lying to ourself. I, uh, I got this great quote in an email from uh, Collapsitarian Rob Milkarski, uh quoting from that excellent movie, Leave the World Behind, which I, can think, I think you can find over at Netflix. Uh, Okay, uh, well, let me just read the whole quote. It's pretty short. I just read it over there at that other channel. From Leave the World Behind, quote, We fuck each over... <laughs> quote, We fuck each other over... I would say that this should... I, I, I'm going to correct the grammar of the script writer to make it read correctly. Quote, We fuck over each other all the time without even realizing it. We fuck over every living thing on this planet and think it will be fine because we use paper straws and order the free-range chicken. And the sick thing is, I think deep down we know we are not fooling anyone. I think we know we are living a lie, an agreed-upon mass delusion to help us ignore and keep ignoring how awful we really are. Thank you, whoever that script writer was. And uh, anyway, guys, uh, I, I have just been 
thinking a, a lot of uh, about d d just lying sacks of shit uh, the past couple of days. What I just went through, uh, here is a vacation rental super host, which obviously I can't talk about the details of, where somebody who had uh, booked a vacation rental cabin here uh, tried to cancel their reservation and get a full refund. And so I offered the guy to refund half his money back. He was, was here for two nights and uh, I offered to refund him one night. That wasn't good enough for him. So what he did was he just concocted this complete, just this, this absolute, unadulterated pile of horseshit about, uh, not so much about me directly, but uh, uh, about uh, my listing, uh, at, you know, with the, uh, with the vacation rental agency. Absolute unadulterated horseshit uh, with zero supporting evidence. Zero supporting evidence flying completely in the face of three years of uh, reviews I have had here, you know, where I am a five-star super host. Uh, th 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 this guy, b b you know, because he did not want to take one iota of responsibility for his confusion uh, about uh, about the kind of experience I offer here at Bugs in a Jar, since he wanted to take zero responsibility. He was blaming it on me. He was blaming it on his girlfriend. He was blaming it on the the uh, the rental agency uh, that you know that advertises uh, my my tiny homes for everybody he could blame it on taking zero percent of the responsibility uh, for for this happening and I did not owe this motherfucker one red cent but because I'm a nice guy and a super host uh, I offered him a 50 percent refund he told me to go fuck myself uh, and, and he comes up with this absolute preposterous uh, lie uh, uh, about something here. Uh, this complete unadulterated horseshit. And, uh, and I actually had to go defend myself uh, against this fucker, which took about 10 minutes. I wish I had recorded... Uh, the phone call I, I made uh, defending myself uh, uh, against this un, just completely unadulterated, fabricated out of whole cloth bullshit with zero supporting evidence to support one word out of his lying sack of shit mouth. Well, uh, it took me about five minutes to quote win my case, uh, and, and uh, so I was going to give the motherfucker 50% uh, of his money back, and uh, I, I'm not giving that, that lion sack of shit one fucking red cent. Uh, I, 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 you know, just, just how people, uh, it, this was over $77 is, is what it was. Uh, 77 bucks, how someone over 77 fucking dollars because they refuse to take one shred of responsibility for their actions that, that, that they will just make up anything and, and, and just try to fuck somebody 
uh, 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 over seventy-seven lousy dollars. Uh, and and they and, and, and this motherfucker uh, probably would have done it over seventy-seven cents. I can make a comment about people from India, <clears throat> but I uh, I will not go there. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, but, but, but just, uh, it, it's, it's just unfucking believable uh, how people have no compunction of, about just, just fuck, just trying to fuck somebody over, and, and, and uh, over 77 fucking dollars. Uh, it, it's, it's just unbelievable. And, and then I, I uh, watched this thing on Netflix last night, it, uh, this Netflix documentary. It was a short one. I uh, can't even remember the name up of it. Uh, it's not that important, but it was uh, th th this documentary uh, about this dude uh, who went to a Dodgers baseball game with his six-year-old daughter. He, he, he's at a Dodgers baseball game uh, w with his uh, six-year-old daughter. And then uh, a, a few days later, uh, he is arrested at work, hauled into jail, and, and basically charged with first-degree murder for gunning down some 16-year-old girl uh, who got gunned down while, while this dude... Uh, was at a fucking baseball game with his kid, a and he was looking at the the death penalty, and d d this, d and just an aside here, guys. Uh, I am on record for stating we need more capital punishment uh, on this planet, not less. But but guys, uh, as if I really need to add this amplification and clarification, I'm talking about, you, you know, when we know goddamn well uh, that, that this motherfucker killed somebody or raped some child or whatever there there's no fucking doubt about it uh they've been found guilty uh they admit it uh, the the evidence is over I mean, you know what i'm saying i'm not talking about cases uh like like this uh like this uh netflix documentary which i'm sure are way too common and uh, where the fucking cops Based in the, the cops and the uh, DA and, and, and all of these motherfuckers with virtually zero evidence. I, I mean, with one tiny little shred uh, of unsupportable evidence uh, can serve an, an arrest warrant uh, on somebody uh, who was at a fucking baseball game uh, with their with their kid, and, and the next thing they know, they're looking at a murder one capital crime charge that that they gunned down a 16 year old girl uh, in her front yard. Uh, it, and, and, and these cops who ended up uh, getting shit canned as they should have, just absolutely lying through their fucking teeth uh, to frame this guy. How, how this guy was absolutely set up and framed uh, so they didn't have to do their job and, and, and catch the real killer, which they did end up doing. Uh, you, you know, after putting this guy through hell, they ended up finding the guy who really did uh, you, you know, kill the girl, and and he's in prison for life. I don't know why he's not. Uh, why they're not putting a bullet through his head. But anyway, that's a that's another rant. But 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 how you know these fucking cops and DAs and they can just sit there and uh, and make up this unadulterated fucking horseshit. It's sending a completely 
innocent person uh, to prison and possibly to the fucking gas chamber or whatever for a crime they never committed. And uh, so I anyway, thank God for this dude that his lawyer uh, his lawyer basically had to prove his alibi that he was at a Dodgers baseball uh, game with 27,000 other people. And uh, the, the, his lawyer actually uh, found uh, a video of him with a time stamp that, that he and his kid were sitting there eating a fucking ice cream cone at a baseball game uh, while somebody else was uh, gunning the, gunning down this 16-year-old girl. Fucking cops. And, and DA, they, they don't give a fuck. Just frame uh, the, the easiest patsy they can find and, and put it down uh, as, as case solved and closed. Uh, you know, the, 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 these fucking lion sacks of shit just everywhere uh, you, you, you fucking turn. Uh, and, and then uh, now uh, this... Uh, lying to himself, uh, Commander-in-Chief Joe Biden. Been lying to himself since day fucking one. Uh, anyway, you know we lie to ourselves. Uh, we we lie to the you know to people we love. We 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 lie to our spouses. We lie to our children. Uh, good fucking god. And uh, anybody, there is there's this uh book, uh, excellent book called The Liars Club. Can't remember who wrote The Liars Club. It's about what what it is is this group of uh of old men for their entertainment. So they meet once a week. Uh, this group of guys uh, it's somewhere in the south and, and what they do is they, they, they get together for a beer once a week and it's called the Liars Club and they concoct the craziest fucking story they can come up with and then they go around the table telling these obvious whoppers uh, and, and then they vote on uh, who the best liar of the week is. Uh, anyway, I, I would actually join the, the Liars Club. But uh, in, the, in the beginning of the book, uh, the scene is uh, they, they're meeting for the Liars Club and they're going around the table and it, and it gets to this one guy, probably uh, a, a Donald Trump kind of character, and he goes... I don't even know why I'm here at this meeting. I have never told a lie in my life. And of course, uh, you know, he, he won by a landslide that everybody else at the table voted him for telling the biggest fucking whopper uh, of his life at the Liars Club saying he's never told a lie in his life. Oh, God. There, there, there is nobody on the planet uh, who, who has never told a fucking lie. Uh, and, and there's very few people on the planet who have not told a fucking lie today. Uh, for, for whatever reason. I, I mean, obviously, the, uh, the, the most uh, common reason, I guess, <coughs> is, uh, that you don't want to, that you don't want to get your ass in trouble. Uh, you know, either I guess they they have these things called little white lies, little white lies, which I guess get a pass from most of us because uh, they're just the kind of lies 
you know, you, you, you just don't want to look bad or you're trying not to hurt somebody's feelings uh, by, by telling them the fucking truth uh, 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 about how awful they are. So, uh, you know, if you're protecting somebody's fragile ego uh, by not letting them know uh, how awful they are, uh, but by, you know, the old, does this dress make me look fat, uh, kind of, kind of, uh, little white lie, uh, I, I, I guess those are okay. And then it's like, you know, when does a, when does a little white lie, you know, become, when does it, become a big fat black lie I guess what's the opposite of a little white lie so you, you know you tell a, a, a little white lie and, and uh, that seems to get a pass and, and obviously you are going to keep pushing the envelope and then there is exaggeration in hyperbole a lie uh, you know, hyperbole is a basically a literary device where, you know, it's fun. You, you have something that happened to you, which is a good story, but it just would have been a better story if a few details had been a little bit different. And so as you continue to retell this story uh, over, you know, over the years, you keep just stretching the details a little bit, you know, just to make it a better story. And I might, I might be a little bit guilty of, uh, of, of hyperbolizing some of my, uh, my, ham bone misadventures I have told, I, I probably am a little bit guilty of hyperbolizing uh, and uh, exaggerating uh, some of my stories, uh, you know, just to make for, it's usually for humorous effect. Uh, I, I you know, it usually, well, it, 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 anyway, you, you can listen to my, uh, to some of my Hambone misadventures and figure out, uh, uh, okay, Hambone, you're probably, if not lying here, you're a little bit stretching the truth. Uh, and anyway, and so then, so people uh, get away with that. They, they get away with uh, stretching the truth, exaggerating, hyperbolizing, and they don't get slapped down for that. And so then, uh, before you know it, uh, you're, 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 you're not hyperbolizing uh, in order to uh, make a funny story better. Uh, you, you you start sounding like this motherfucker uh, who just happened to be from India. <coughs> Not that that has anything to do with him being a you know, a lying sack of shit. I don't know why it would. Uh, but but anyway, then, then you go from there right up to Donald Trump. Oh, fuck. Who, who just... You know, someone like... like when, when you reach the level of lying sack of shit like Donald Trump... I, 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 I mean, the guy, clearly, he has zero concern uh, uh, about the validity uh, uh, of what is coming out of his mouth. 
whether whether the shit pouring out of his mouth uh, is worse than the shit pouring out of his asshole. The truth uh, of whatever it, it makes absolutely zero difference to the man. It, it makes no difference whether what he is saying can can be uh, disproven through uh, third grade science, j- just just open and shut from the historical record. Uh, and and, and uh, but but liars. They're only as powerful as the people believing their lies. And, and this is why the, the problem is not Donald Trump. Uh, the, the problem are the fucking Trump tards. But of course, all politicians are liars. There is no politician ever in the history of this planet who's not a lying sack of shit. It's just that Donald Trump has taken... Uh, I, I, I have trouble calling it the art of lying, but just, uh, I, I mean, just abandoned any connection to the truth. And this isn't saying that some things coming out of Donald Trump's mouth aren't true. It makes no difference to him. Whether it's true or false, and and this is the situation with uh, with so many of these goddamn lying sacks of shit, and uh, then of course I'm trying you to see this goldfinch in the hydrangea, this beautiful little goldfinch. I'm sure you cannot see him. I'm not lying. There really is a goldfinch in that hydrangea as I'm talking. This is not a lie. Uh, there is a goldfinch. Just you guys won't be able to see him in this video. But, uh... Ah, it's two goldfinches. And, uh... Then, of course, we, we get to the biggest lie of them all. Uh, that you can... That, that you can have unlimited growth on a finite planet, which, of course, is the number one biggest fucking lie uh, of them all, uh, that uh, 99.9% of the planet has never considered the biggest lie in the history of humanity. The single essential biggest lie, it is the big, it is the a uh, lie of why we're so fucked is that nobody has ever examined the cradle-to-grave uh, propaganda that we get stuffed down our throat. The lying sacks of shit just may, you know, that we can just have unlimited growth uh, on, on a finite planet. And as long as 99% of, you know, and Donald Trump believes this, Joe Biden believes this, Kamala Harris believes this, J.D. Vance believes this, Barack Obama believes this, uh, I would say 99.99% of the politicians spouting these fucking lies I honestly believe the single biggest, most absurd lie uh, of any of them all, which is you can have uh, unlimited growth on a finite planet. And this is why we're fucked. But anyway, uh, I have got to wrap this up because uh, I got to get out of the screened porch because a, a woman from India is getting ready to uh, come spend the night at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And that's no lie. Wish me luck on that one. Bye, guys.